Hi everyone, my name is Sive. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I am wondering if you made a goal for yourself in 2024 that in any way revolved around your physical TBR. This is something I feel like we see constantly all over the bookish community because everyone has um, a goal to reduce their TBR or buy less books or read more books that they own. And I've been keeping from you a physical TBR secret project. The reason why I've been keeping this from you is, frankly, I was nervous that it wouldn't actually gain traction, I wouldn't keep up with it, and that it would tank before I even like got it off the ground. However, I'm happy to report it's going great. <laughs> okay, so my goal is to finish my entire physical TBR in three months. I started this middle of January. I think it was actually January 18th or 17th. Um, and I had a number of books on my TBR. I don't remember how many when I started. I have always wanted to have a physical TBR of five books, ever rotating, but never really having a large stack again. A few years ago, I put myself on a book buying ban to reduce my number of read books from 42 to 32. It went amazing, and I ended up reading a lot more than that. I started the year this year with 14 books on my TBR. I very quickly went out and bought four more books in January this year. So naturally that spooked me. <laughs> this video is going to be short and sweet. It's relatively simple to follow. I wanted to finish like those 18 books or whatever in three months and I've been keeping on track for the last five weeks or so. These are just the books that I've read this month in February off of my physical TBR, total of four, five. Five, go me. I'm keeping with a page count of 70 pages a day in order to keep this up. And I do track that. I track that every day. Um, it's the only way that this is gonna work for me and that I stay accountable. In the spirit of letting you in on the whole deal, this is um, my little TBR basket that I started. It used to be a lot more full than this. My goal is to finish all of these by mid-April this year. It's a pretty big undertaking because I have a number of books that are from series on here, but I feel these go in my favor because this is Lachlan's. It's the last book to a series called the Founder's Head Trilogy that I love and I'm so excited to finish it. So I don't feel like I'll have trouble being motivated to read that. Same with Foxglove. Um, I did not enjoy the first book in this series too, too much. This is the second in a trilogy but the vibes were absolutely immaculate and though I didn't enjoy the main character's voice, I'm willing to give this another shot because so much of the setting and magic system I feel like could really be cool for me. Next up I have Jade City, which is a trilogy that I have wanted to read for so long. I am so excited for this book and for this series and I, I, I'm not gonna have a problem reading this book, I know. Bit of an impulse buy after I love Carrie Maniscalco's um, Kingdom of the Wicked trilogy as well as Throne of the Fallen, I decided to pick up her backlist series. This is the first in her... Does this have a series name or is it just called Stalking Jack the Ripper series? I know I love Carrie Maniscalco's writing and I don't foresee this being an issue to read. Hero the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. I loved Gideon the Ninth and I feel like this is actually a five star prediction for me and I know I'm gonna love it. The last four books I need to finish for this challenge are very hodgepodge. Shadow of the Wind I've had on my TBR for quite a while. It's a historical fiction and a mystery, so two things that are very out of my comfort zone, hence why it's been on here for a while. Dubliners, this was a gift from a friend of mine who I am sure 100% she was gifting this to me as a collection rather than a, I actually think Sive is going to read this, but I'm going to read it. An impulse pickup from a little free library in my neighborhood is Shirley Jackson's The Lottery. This is a short story. No, it's actually a collection of short stories. There's a number, it's an anthology. I thought the cover was pretty. Please don't hate me, listen. And lastly is Nocturnes by John Connolly, another horror anthology. Um, this is an Irish author, I'm trying to read more Irish authors this year. So that is the deal. That is the amount of books that I have left to read. I'm participating in a readathon in March, which is going to help immensely, especially with these fantasy reads. That is it for today's video, and I just wanted to show you quickly what I've been up to as far as my physical TBR and share with you the goal that I have. I'm sorry it took me so long and so many books read in order for me to share this with you because I truly was just nervous that like what if I put this video out here and then I don't do it. I feel like if I'm not able personally to hold myself accountable through sheer willpower that having you guys hold me accountable 
wouldn't be enough. So now that I really have traction with this challenge, I feel like you guys are just gonna be able to support me in it. So please let me know what physical TBR related goal you have at the moment. Are you trying to pick up more series this year? Are you trying to read outside of your comfort genre? Are you trying to read an author, a favorite author of yours, like favorite backlist, or just reduce your physical TBR like me? That's all I got for you guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed this short little intro to my TBR challenge. If you did, please like the video and subscribe for more content from me. And other than that, have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.